Hello folks and you're watching Tech Takshila. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. In today's video, we will see what a machine learning engineer role is and why you should become one and most importantly, how to become one. We hope that you will like this video. In case you find this video informative, please help us grow the channel by liking the video, subscribing to our channel and also sharing it with your peers. So let's get started. Machine learning is not a niche anymore. Every big tech company, be it Google, Microsoft, or Netflix are relying heavily on machine learning. These companies use ML for myriad of use cases, from improving user experience to finding next business opportunity. Be it Uber search pricing or Walmart's product recommendation, ML is everywhere. And it is only a matter of time when ML defines every step of our life and makes it better. To quote a famous serial entrepreneur, Mark Cuban, Artificial intelligence, deep learning, machine learning, whatever you are doing, if you don't understand it, learn it because otherwise you're going to be a dinosaur within three years. If this is not convincing enough for you to learn machine learning right at this instant, let's go over some recent market data real quick. A report from TMR stated that machine learning as a service, MLAAS, is expected to grow by $1.7 billion in 2016 to $19.9 billion by end of 2025. So if you want to put yourselves somewhere in the upper echelon of software engineers, then this is the best time to learn machine learning. If you look at ML engineer salaries, a world-class ML expert can rake in as much as a top-class NFL player. According to simplyhire.com, the average machine learning engineer salary is about $142,000. And if you're an expert, you can earn upwards of 200,000 per year. So a career in machine learning is highly lucrative. And last but not least, ML engineers are in great shortage at this moment. According to Gartner report, anyone looking to hire talent with machine learning skills in New York taps into a talent pool of merely 32 experts, of which only 16 are potential candidates. You see, even if there is a high demand in the market, there is a huge shortage of ML engineer talent right now. So this gives potential job seekers an upper hand during salary and benefit negotiations. I guess if you're still watching this video, you are pumped up to become an MLE right at this instant. But you must be wondering that where should one start? Well, ML engineers fall into two camps. First group is composed of PhDs in computer science, artificial intelligence, data science, or software engineering. And then there is a second group that is composed of experienced software engineers and data engineers who slowly transitioned into a more defined ML engineering role. To become an ML engineer, you would need some hands-on experience with two broad skills. First is data science skills such as Python. You should know how to write good code in Python. You must be aware of basic statistics and mathematics. You should also know how to optimize and validate model. You should also know about various ML frameworks. And last but not least, you should know about deep learning as well. And the second broad skill is software engineering, skills such as system architecture, how to create CI, CD software pipelines, what is API development, and how to work on ML operations. This is definitely not an exhaustive list, but meant to be a starting point for someone who is just starting out. Through this video series, we will provide you the tools required to become an ML engineer. You will learn how to create an end-to-end -end ML workflow on AWS, which will comprise of feature engineering, model training, model evaluation, model deployment, and monitoring the model. With that, we hope you liked this video and found it informative. If you're excited to keep on learning ML engineering, please do subscribe to our channel and press that bell icon for future notification. We also have content on software engineering interview preparation on our channel for you to explore. You can find the link in the description to that video series. With that, we hope to see you in the next one. Happy learning.